एवरीवन सो टुडे वी आर सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम लॉन्गेस्ट हैप्पी स्ट्रिंग सो ए स्ट्रिंग एस इज कॉल्ड हैप्पी इफ इट इज सेटिस्फाई द फॉलोइंग कंडीशन सो देर आर सर्टेन कंडीशंस दैट इट शुड बी सेटिस्फाई सो एस द स्ट्रिंग कंटेंस ओनली ए बी एंड सी थ्री करेक्टर्स एंड नंबर टू इज लाइक दे शुड नॉट बी थ्री कॉन्जिक्यूटिव करेक्टर्स ऑफ एनी ऑफ देम ए और बी और सी दे कैन नॉट कम्स टूगेदर थ्री टाइम्स राइट सो थ्री और मोर टाइम्स इट शुड नॉट कम up to two times only they can come together same type of characters and s can contains at most a so these a b c there is a three variables are given to us okay so those a b and c actually contains the numbers of times a or b or c can appear so see here s contains at most a occurrence of letter a similarly uh, at most b occurrence of letter b and or and so Okay, so basically A, B, C is also the count of the at most uh, characters that can appear in the string. So, uh, so what we are given is A, B, C. The three uh, three uh, integer variables are given to us, which has A has the whatever value that many times of A can comes, B and C similarly. Uh, those would be the maximum appearance of those characters. So, return the longest possible happy string. If there are multiple longest happy string. Return any one of them. If there is no such string, then return the empty string. So uh, this is what we have to do. Let's take one example to make a better sense of it. So for example, see here. This is uh, uh, A, B, and C. Okay, A is one, B is one, and C came. C came seven times. So at most, C can come seven times, right? So see here. This is string itself. A, A is repeated only one time. right b is also repeated only one time and c repeated a uh, six times and c is not coming uh, more than uh, two times together right there is no three or four occurrence of c consecutively so we can say that this string itself is the correct answer for it okay so uh, we are basically given a b and c and we have to construct the happy string with these conditions this is what we have to do Okay, so so guys, suppose what we are doing is uh, we have created three variables: cur a, cur b, and cur c. These are the variables to count the consecutive occurrence of a, b, and c respectively. And a, b, c are already given in the question with the maximum allowed characters repetition in the given string, uh, the string that we gonna construct. So as we know that maximum length of the string can be go up to a plus b plus c, right? Because a, b, and c are the maximum allowed uh, characters repetitions okay so this will go up to the a plus b plus c now if these are cur a cur b cur c are the variables to count the consecutiveness so for example let's say we have an string s equal to uh, b c a okay for example so far we have constructed somehow b c a okay so in this case what will happen what would be the value of cur a cur a would be having the value equal to 1 right why because cur a is right now having one value occurred look at here this guy is now one okay what would be the value of cur b cur b would be currently would be one or zero right see here after a we going to add anything there is no consecutive b or c right so this will be zero similarly cur c also would be zero because we are starting now from here to the right side okay so cur c would also would be zero only cur a would be one now fine so now what we will do is these a b c has the values uh, integral values for the repetition now let's say we want to add current or uh, let's say we want to add character a so what would be the condition to add character a the one condition would be if a is greater than b and a is also greater than or equal to c okay like this that a is greater than or equal to b basically the a is largest okay and the uh, a is also greater than or equal to c and and what and and cur c a uh, cur a cur a is not equal to 2 because if it is equal to 2 then we cannot add the another a right so cur a is not equal to 2 if this condition is true that means means a is greater than b is also greater than c and it's also not occurred consecutively more than or equal to two times that means we can still add a character a 
so this is the one condition to add the correct array there is one more condition to correct to add the correct array let's say this condition is not true okay that either a is not greatest or current a is already occurred more than uh, i mean already occurred two times then this condition would not be true so in that case there would be one more condition when we can add the a for example let's say uh, our car b okay our car b is already equal to 2 okay car b is equal to 2 or car c is equal to 2 okay that means b and c we cannot add correct whoever is equal to 2 we cannot add so if this is this or condition is true and and the a is greater than 0 okay so if a is greater than 0 that means a can be still added considering the fact that any one of them is already occurred two times agree let's take an example for both conditions okay so see here b c a let's say a equal to 5 okay i'm taking a equal to 5 b equal to 2 c equal to 3 let's say okay so check the condition c equal to 3 so will first condition true or not so see here a is greater than b because a equal to 5 b or b so a is also greater than b also greater than c so this condition true and car a in this condition car a is occurred only one time so what we can do is we can add here in in this string we can add a here right because this condition is true okay so in this case we can add a now let's say this condition is not true for example this was like this b c c okay let's say i'm making it b c c in this case we cannot add a because this condition is not true right okay so what we can do here can we add further a yes we can add but this is coming to this condition let's say i'm making one more thing it's like this a is a uh, 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 a is a came here only let's say one time i am updating the input in this case this condition is not true first one because a is not greatest okay but this condition would be true because c came two times and a is still greater than zero that means there is a possibility to add a still correct so this is another case where we could a, we could have add b c c a so we have taken both example where it was working for this condition as well as working for this condition so in this case if any one of them is appearing we can add the character a right we can add the character a so similarly we can do for b and c as well so let's say we have added this character a so what we have to uh, update the variables so what would be happens to a this is the number of repetitions so a we have added right so a should become now a minus one so i am doing a minus minus correct and what would be the current uh, car a so car a value would become by one doesn't matter what is its uh, initial value but anyway we are adding a so we have to increase its value right now what will happen to car b and car c so car b and car c both of them would always goes to zero why because if we are adding a value a that means anything which is coming as b or c there would be no possibility of any consecutive value because they are starting from zero now so that is why we have to update car b and car c both equal to zero right so this was the case when we were adding a similarly if we were adding c or b we would have replaced b with a and vice versa so this approach we can use everywhere for all the characters okay so how we would do it so what we are doing is adding a is basically uh, if i am doing i'm doing this code in the java so that is why i'm using the string builder because strings are immutable in java okay but in case of c plus uh, plus strings are not immutable so you can add them directly okay so we are using string builder so let me show you my corresponding code for it so uh, see here this is my code So you guys can see here what I am doing is first of all I just created current A, current B and current C for the consecutive count right and this is our maximum length possible A plus B plus C right 
and uh, this is one integer so see here i have just created one string builder object here initially empty now see here what i am doing for max length time okay max length a plus b plus c because these many numbers we have these many characters we have to add right so i am using this while loop and see here this is my first condition so see here at i can write down here adding the character a adding the care a okay so see here first of all what i am checking i am checking the first condition this one if a is greatest and current a is not equal to 2 this condition i am checking there so see here if a is greater than b and a is greater than c and current a is not equal to 2 means a is not occurred two times consecutively if this condition is true or if this condition is not true then a is greater than 0 means there is a still available a that we can add and any one of them either b or c has already occurred two times in this case also we can say directly that we can add the new value so add means we are doing as we dot append character a correct same thing we discussed here two conditions both of them i have put in the same if condition so see here after adding this what i am doing here is i am increasing the consecutiveness of a because we have added a and i am resetting the curve b and curve c the consecutiveness of b and c equal to zero because everything would be now inverse zero for them they have to start from one if new value comes and here i am decreasing a minus minus because one a we have already used so we have to let's say we have five then it should become four because one we have we have already applied here right so if this condition is true we are adding a else if why i am using else if because either a or b or c every step we have to pick only one of them because only one of these condition would be true so see here this time i am checking for b just like the way we, i was checking for a so so same way if b is greatest if b is greatest and curve b is not equal to 2 or b is still greater than 0 and one of them is coming consecutively two times then what i am doing i am using b so i am appending b then i am increasing the curve b and setting this curve a and c equal to 0 and decreasing b minus minus same for c as well else if so one of them has to be run right so same thing i am doing for c as well and then i am increasing my i plus plus because i have to run this while loop max length time which is a plus b plus c this one okay so once we are coming out of this we would have added everything to our string builder object and see here i am returning it as the uh, uh, the string so let me execute this code I am running this code yeah so let me try to submit it I am submitting it let us see yeah so it's hundred percent faster so we have the time complexity uh, what it is we are doing a single traversal only so time complexity would be a plus b plus c or in general you can say o of n okay so um, uh, thank you for watching this video and if you guys have any concern please make a comment over there thank you